on the top of the brain slice identify the interhemispheric fissure find a sulcus running parallel to the interhemispheric fissure anteriorly this is the superior frontal sulcus follow the superior frontal sulcus posteriorly until it joins a sulcus that perpendicular to it this is the precental sulcus the posterior sulcus parallel to the precental sulcus this is the central sulcus we can be sure to more sign this is the parbecker sign or parmarginalis this is the bifid fossed central sulcus this is interhemispheric fissure this is superior frontal sulcus this is free central sulcus this is central sulcus this is parbecker sign or parmarginalis and this is bifid fossed central sulcus on the top of the brain slice identify the interhemispheric fissure find a sulcus running posteriorly parallel or slightly obliquely this is the interferital fissure follow the interferital fissure anteriorly where it intersect a sulcus that is running perpendicular to it this is the fossed central sulcus the sulcus immediately anterior to the fossed central sulcus this is the central sulcus this is omega sign this is interhemispheric fissure this is interferital fissure this is fossed central sulcus this is central sulcus and this is omega sign find the close to midline sagittal slice identify the corpus callosum this is corpus callosum and this is colossal sulcus identify the cingulate gyrus this is cingulate gyrus and cingulate sulcus follow the cingulate sulcus posteriorly and superiorly this is parbecker sign or parmarginalis this area is paracentral lobule this sulcus is central sulcus in front of parmarginalis this is lateral sagittal image identify the salvian lateral fissure follow the salvian lateral fissure posteriorly the posterior end is capped by the supramarginal gyrus of the parietal lobe the sulcus at the anterior border of the supramarginal gyrus of the fossed central sulcus we can see here a sulcus in front of fossed central sulcus this is the central sulcus this is salvian lateral fissure this is supramarginal gyrus this is fossed central sulcus this is central sulcus and this is parietal lobe find the close to midline sagittal slice draw the baseline 
draw a line 45 degree to baseline. The occipital parietal fissure runs parallel to this line. This is the occipital parietal fissure. This is lingual gyrus. This is cuneus. And this is free cuneus. This is inferior frontal sulcus free central sulcus central sulcus forced central sulcus interparietal sulcus salvian fissure anterior ramus of salvian ascending ramus of salvian superior temporal sulcus and inferior temporal sulcus now i am talking about understanding the surface gyri this is medial frontal gyrus inferior frontal gyrus free central gyrus forced central gyrus supramarginal gyrus angular gyrus superior parietal lobule superior temporal gyrus medial temporal gyrus and inferior temporal gyrus